if I didn't meet Pastor Joseph, then I think I won't be attending church. I won't know Christ. And I think my life will have like no purpose. For Jerome, how he has like impacted me the most is through the little gestures. Uh. He came in as a friend. He didn't just come in and uh, I'm not your mentor. You need to respect me. He earned that respect. Uh. We have a very unique role because uh, we are not part of the school staff. The teachers and the students will wonder, right, what is the role of this pastor, for example, you know? How we reach out to them, uh, we really start by having activities that bridge the gap between us and them, is to build that relationship of trust. I like to use the acronyms uh, A, B and C. A stands for, uh, we are the ambassador of Christ. B stands for befriender. And uh, C stands for connecting. The first thing that comes to mind as a chaplaincy worker is to be a support to them, to guide them uh, to make the right decisions in life. Through my journey with Joe, like, he did help me a lot. He told me that punctuality is important. Also, I must remember what are my responsibilities. He brought to me this important lesson of being a humble guy. And all this points me back to God. When the students know that uh, you sincerely want to be there for them when they're in trouble, no students have ever rejected me when I say I want to pray for them. He will say, this God has a plan for you and a purpose for you. Me and my friends got curious, then we just go and approach him to ask him like, who is this God? And after that, he invited us to the Saturday cell group. And so me and my friends just like stayed on to just learn more about God's Word. The most difficult things for them as they grow up, right, is their relationship with one another. So they are at an age where they're finding their self-worth, they're finding their self-identity. And so many of them have questions in life uh, pertaining to their self-esteem, who they are as a person, and that's where we guide them. The number of people coming in the chaplaincy ministry is limited. There are definitely a lot more students than chaplaincy workers. If we want to do something really fruitful, you need a team of people. The harvest is really, truly plentiful. The laborers are yet few. Hello, Pastor Joseph. Ah. Just want to thank you for serving in Christchurch Secondary School. Thank you for being a part of my life throughout my secondary school days. Hi, Jerome. I just want to thank you like, for the past two years plus for being my mentor, for helping me out. You have been a very great blessing to me and I hope you continue to do this to like many, many other students in this school. May God continue to use you to impact other people, like how you impacted my life. Interesting. I must answer to him. <laughs> All right. Hey, uh... <laughs> so, hey, uh... Ta-da! Oh. How you even manage to come out of me? I book out every day. I got pray for you I got spend time with you yeah, all. Yeah, 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 your moments of like deep desperation darkness. and darkness. Who was there, man? I mean, aside from God lah. Aside from God. <laughs> I've seen how she has grown. Pass on, yeah, whatever the Lord has taught you. Praise God. <laughs> Dear brothers and sisters in the diocese, the word mission is a biblical word that connotes the making of disciples through evangelism and discipleship. Education mission is therefore the making of disciples in the context of education or in our schools and preschools. Because of the constraints that are placed on teachers and principals getting too directly involved in such work, the onus of education mission falls largely on the chaplaincy teams that are hired by the parishes linked to our schools and preschools. Not all of our parishes are directly involved in school chaplaincy work. And of those that are, some genuinely struggle to hire adequate chaplaincy staff due to a lack of financial muscle. And so this is where the Education Mission Fund comes in. This fund is managed by the Education Board and is used to subsidize the hiring and training of chaplaincy staff. And so once a year during Education Month, all other parishes have the opportunity to contribute towards the Education Mission Fund. 
and by doing so, signal to those parishes on the front line, as it were, that we are with you. You're not alone in this. So can I encourage all of you to prayerfully consider giving generously towards the Education Mission Fund so that the work of Education Mission can progress to the glory of God. God bless you.